Hello some viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to see how we can convert a JSON file to a PDF file. So, let us see for what is the JSON file which we are going to convert. So, this is the JSON file. We have ID, name and age as the columns and those are, those are the column values. And we will take this in the program or we can directly import. We will see that later in the program. So, now so now as you can see on the screen we have created a json to pdf.html file and data.json we will see through a html file when you are taking html file you can take a source of js pdf the requirement for J json to pdf conversion we have a library called js pdf so js pdf is a library we can download it like this let's say npm install jspdf we can download or we can directly take the cdn the cdn i have saved it here let me copy this this is a cdn it will directly uh, take it from here right this is the first way if you are doing from the node if you are just writing an HTML, if you want to directly take the source from a jQuery or JS file, yeah, you can use it like this. this is second way. Now, without any further ado, let us start the program. So, let us take a HTML document. So, in HTML document, I will write... Uh, head so I'll write head open bracket close bracket in inside head we can write easy simple title so title I'll give uh, conversion of JSON to PDF and download and download PDF so simple so what it, what it does, we will convert the JSON to PDF and we will download the file and we will open the file to see how it looks. Now, after this title, we can write a script or script we can easily write here. In the script, we can write a JavaScript program and also we can take a source also here. So in the script now itself, we can write a source. Source what I have written on the top. So, we can copy the same thing. For now, we will see the second method. So, in my all the previous videos, I would have used this one uh, to into install npm package. We can use from that also. We can use a jQuery, not an issue at all. So, this also I will write it down. So, that um, I can show in the description that these are the two ways which we can follow. So, head is completed now. Let us see the body. So, in the body also, we can take another source. So the body will we will write a header. So let us take as the h2 tag. We will say the, okay. The converted file will be downloaded. We'll write like this. Converted file will be downloaded. In the sense, like uh, in this particular program, JSON file is converted to PDF file and it will be downloaded. Let us close the body. Now we can easily write the script here now this script particularly refers to the program what we are going to do so now these are the employees like we have five employees if you would have followed my json to series 3 json to html json to excel i have used the same json file to convert so these are simple uh, five employees which are which are having the particular names and the age so i'll do what i'll take this particular thing from the so, if I will take a simple array, I will write var employees, employees array. So, I will write open bracket, close bracket as an array example. So, here, uh, instead of taking like this, okay, any other JSON itself is an entire array. So, we will copy the entire thing. That will be good. I will paste it here. So, now, this is the employee array we have what we have here. So after the employee array is finished, 
we can start our program. So I'll write here. I'll put a semicolon at the end. Now I'll write document. So what is this document? This is the document variable. Document variable. What we are doing here? We are storing all the properties of JSON, JS PDF. That is the library. Employees being an array, we can use like this. If use for each, this is another um, kind of for each. You would have known the for each for in different kind of loops. So this is one of the mechanism. You can see the callback is there. So this is basically the syntax for this one. So inside that, I can use a function. So I'll use a callback function. So this is the callback function which I'm using. The so callback function. In the callback function was I can pass employee or a variable comma. I can pass an index. So index I'll be passing a number. So that's it. So now we can easily do through it. So now, if I write document dot, we can give the formatting here. So that t. So this is a particular format where we are. We can follow like this into ten. Here, comma. Now here, here we will write the exact thing. Let's see. I want to type an ID. So it should display like this in the PC. So I want colon. I want space. Here I want to concatenate with employee dot. So put dot. I'll get the, all the employee employees uh, values which you have declared in the JSON. So I'll put an ID. Then I'll concatenate it again. Or we can put another line. For now, let us concatenate it. So I need a name. So space same. Space colon space concatenate with employee dot. Now I'll give here name. I'll give uh, I'll concatenate here. Last one we'll see an H. I'll put space colon space. Here I can concatenate employee dot H. Now these three we want to display. Now, once it is displayed, so let us save the file. So I'll write document. So not capital letters. So document dot. We can save the script. Okay. Let me save, and I can save it like. So I can give a converted PDF. Converted PDF. And let me write capital letters for PDF. From JSON dot PDF, I can easily save it. The PDF extension. Let us write in small letters. Let me save this file. Now here, uh, instead of taking a document, we'll take a DOC. Now in DOC, we can directly save the file. So let us see here. So I'm saving the file. So now, let us open js js to pdf dot html in a browser. So uh, let me reload this. So now it is downloading. So I have uh, reloaded twice. So let me open the file here. Maybe uh, thrice. So yeah, uh, file is opened here. So I have given. Uh, so I could have given space here. Okay. So let me give a space. Of the ID, let it let me give a proper space. Let me load this, uh, save this file. Let me reload it again. So I don't want this. So let me reload. So the file is downloaded. I know it is uh, a third or fourth file. So you can see here, ID one in name A H twenty three. It has now properly converted to a PDF document. Hope you would have liked the video, guys. I'll put code in the description. We're removing open bracket, close bracket. I think in the description those are not allowed. 
but um, you guys can uh, see go through it and this is the requirement for this so this is the js file we need for getting the pdf to be converted so that's it for the video guys uh, if you like the video please click on like if you're a new viewer please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye